listen to that god-awful nonsense. That's our crappy neighbors and their crappy dog. We've been listening to this for years, so we decided to do something about it. And yes, we called the local animal control. They were no help. So we decided to order a powerful ultrasonic device to put an end to it. Let's open up our packaging here and check things out. We've got our Dog Silencer Max. This is an upscale version of what you usually see available online. This is, I guess you could say, a commercial grade dog silencer. And this is kind of a neat little thing. It's a camouflage like face shield you put on the device to disguise it from your obnoxious neighbor. Not that we care. We're really trying not to disguise it anymore, but we figured we'd get it for just so what the heck and here's an extra long extension cable this particular uh, device is battery operated or you can plug it in and because i don't want any problems i decided i wanted to get the plug-in option so i got i think this is at least a 50 foot extension cord you can see it's plenty of cable and that way i won't be using batteries for this device here's the device itself on the side you've got your controls and it's pretty simple it's off ultra or audio i mean three settings audio is just to make sure the thing's working so you can hear it. ultra is what you actually want it to be set at when you're setting it up to deter dog barking and you want to crank up this bark set sensitivity control all the way to make sure it's going to work as intended i guess you could lower it if you were just going to train your own dog who's a couple of feet in your yard but that's not what we're using this for there's a little remote control there. And then here is a bracket to mount the device. And we got this, it was an option just so we could have the, uh, the flexibility of putting this thing anywhere we wanted to because we figured, and it did play out, that we were gonna have to try different spots alongside our house and alongside our yard to make sure that it worked correctly. You have to place, these things so that they're not impeded by other objects like trees or buildings or any you know stationary object and there's the bracket and so you're going to mount that bracket onto the surface that you want to mount the device on in this case the first thing we tried was in our our lemon tree which boy if you need lemons we got them come on down but we chose this tree because it's right alongside our obnoxious ne neighbor's property so I'm getting I'm getting up here and I tried to find a place in the tree that wasn't going to give any obstacles for the device. There's a branch or two kind of off in the distance. Um, and you can see I'm mounting the bracket in the tree and then I'm going to put the device up on top of the bracket. And there's there's the dog we're trying to silence. Listen to that thing. Horrible, horrible. We've been listening to this crap for four years. And Thanks, City of Riverside Animal Services. You did nothing to help us on this one. That's another story for another time. But anyway, let's fire this thing up and see if it works. Anyway, on one side of our house, yeah, our neighbors are jerks. But on the other side, our neighbors are super cool. So we're 50-50 in the lottery of neighbors. Anyway, we tried the device for two weeks in the lemon tree. The barking was still continuing, though. It subsided a little bit, but still was going on. So we moved the device just a couple of feet to a corner of the house that you see right here. And yes, the exterior of the house is pretty beat. That's a future DIY video. Please stay tuned. Anyway, here's the lemon tree. I'm just showing you the proximity. We didn't have to move the device very far and the results we got were substantial. So the barking subsided to the point where it's about maybe 90% less than it was. For those of you who think we don't like dogs, you're wrong. Here's our adopted rescue dog. His name's Ryder and he's super cool. We love him but we're responsible with him. We make sure he doesn't bark. We make sure he's not a jerk to our neighbors. So if you're irresponsible with your dog, you have no business owning one, please adopt it out to somebody that can take care of it. Anyway, Ryder says goodbye for now. And we hope this video helped you and helps you get some peace and quiet. Subscribe to my channel if you liked it. Thanks.